I'm your huckleberry. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. A little while back I featured the Zenith MP5 clone that my buddy owns. He actually brought it back out for us to shoot again today. But this time he does have a dead air Mojave 9 suppressor to go with it. So I'm gonna show you guys first what it sounds like without a suppressor. And then we'll show you what it sounds like with a suppressor. Okay, so that was unsuppressed. Now I think YouTube doesn't allow me to show you how to thread a suppressor on, so I won't be doing that. As you can see, I've covered it cleverly, so you can't see how this works. All right, so you couldn't see the process there, so clearly you don't know how to thread a suppressor onto the end of a barrel now. All right, so this is the Zenith Suppress. With subsonics. With subsonics. That is ridiculous how fucking quiet that is. Holy shit, that makes a huge difference. Well, I've been on the fence about getting a can, but I think this may have solved that problem for me. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get one now. That thing is fucking blazing hot, so don't touch it. You moron idiot. Yeah, I got it within like 24 hours of submitting the paperwork. So no shit. So he said when he turned his paperwork in, he actually got this approved within 24 hours. So guys, if you were ever gonna file for a can now is the time to do it uh msrp on this thing's right around 1100 bucks plus the 200 dollars tax stamp you're going to be looking at around 1300 uh this is actually cool i took it apart inside and took a look at it it's actually like 3d printed titanium baffle systems in it and it's not like standard k cups or, or a baffle stack it's like a fucking vortex type design so it's actually really cool how it works i'm sure there's a technical name for it and if I figure out what the technical name is, I'll annotate it here somewhere, right there. Uh, but off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what that technical name is. But yeah, guys, this is really fucking cool. I'll tell you what, we'll reload a few mags and we'll uh, shoot this thing some more. We've also got my pistol out here. I'm going to swap out to a piston upper, or a uh, not a piston upper. It is a uh, recoil, what the fuck is that thing called? A Nielsen device. We're gonna install a Nielsen device onto the suppressor and show you how this guy, how this thing works on a pistol as well. All right, guys, so now I've got the PSA dagger. We're gonna shoot a few rounds first unsuppressed. See how that does. All right, so that was unsuppressed on the PSA dagger, nine millimeter. Go ahead and top off this mag. We'll put the suppressor on. We did install the uh, recoil booster. I remembered what it's called. Yeah. So uh, let's get that put on. Top this mag off. We'll see how this thing sounds suppressed. Uh, this is shooting standard 115, so this is not subsonic. So we'll see how it sounds. It's a P-series piston mount for dead air. You heard what the man said. A P-series piston mount. And this can is kind of cool. One thing I noticed, can't show you on camera, but this end actually threads off and then you can take the cap and put it on it and makes a much shorter suppressor. But for the sake of uh, performance, I'm gonna keep it just like it is. I have no issue with it whatsoever being long. That's what she said. The longer the better. What did he say? <laughs> All right. Just so you guys know, I did not just chamber around. I was checking it to make sure it was nothing in it before I put my hand in front of the muzzle. As all responsible shooters should do. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it blows up my dagger or if this is awesome. It's 
pretty fucking awesome. I'm going to say that. As you can see, it was a major change in sound. Even with a regular 115 grain ammunition, I'm blown away, man. This has fucking sold me. I'm definitely going to have to buy a suppressor. You want to shoot the pistol? I mean, yeah, it was pretty. It was actually I, I, in my opinion it was actually quieter with the subsonics on uh, with the pistol than it was uh with the supersonics than in the yeah the 115s in the pistol were a little quieter than the 147s in the uh mp5 which is weird because the barrel on that i don't know it might be a tad longer than the pistol barrel but not much it's like a five five six barrel okay five so this minutes. is like a four inch barrel i think on this so maybe four and a half because it's threaded so that one inch does make a big difference. <laughs> Bitch, I see what you did there. That's what she said. That is what she said. Hell yeah. Mm. Like I said, guys, if you ever thought about getting a can, man, it's a really good time to do it. I've been pussyfooting around for way too long, so I'm definitely gonna have to do this. Uh, plus, I mean, look at it. It just looks incredible. There's no mag in this, just so we're clear. Uh, it, it's a fucking incredible thing, man. I gotta get me one of these cans. Everybody I know is starting to get them now. I can't be the last one with a suppressor, so I'm definitely gonna have to do it. Hell, Wilson might get one before you. And just look at how dope it is. I mean, really, that's fucking epic. You could probably have a more like a video gold. game character. What'd you say? I say you could probably have a Cerakote gold to match the uh, barrel. Ah, no, I like it black. Just see that little glimpse of gold when it fires. That's pretty fucking dope, man. Ooh, that bitch is still hot. Are you fucking dumb? All right, what are you gonna shoot now? Eh, I was gonna let you have at it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this pistol one more time. Yeah, sure. Let me grab a little bit more nine mil ammo here. Something about a suppressed nine millimeter pistol, man. I do think that's definitely what I'll have to get for my first can. I gotta do a little research. I wanna see if they make a nine mil can that's rifle rated. Uh, that's rifle rated. But it's only right, uh, but not for 223 caliber, uh, 30 caliber ammunition, such as, but it's not rated for 762 by 39, it's rated for more like 300 blackout, so low pressure, yeah, low pressure 300s, like uh, 300 legend or 350 legend, and then 300 blackout AAC. Okay, a 300 blackout one of those would be dope. Do you have one yet? Nah. That would be the next rifle I, you I was should be I was going to get one um, at Rock City Guns, but then they were like, you want to finance it? I was like, hell yeah, but I already got like three other things. And they were like, oh, wait, nah, you can't. Yeah. They're not going to let you. And I'm like, shit. All right, let's see. didn't lock back on the last round but it cycled everything fine the recoil impulse definitely changes a lot when you're shooting this thing suppressed uh, it may not be a bad idea to start looking at tuning springs if you go into a suppressor uh, this is an aftermarket spring in this dagger i can't remember what the fucking poundage is but it's nothing outrageous um I'm pretty sure I just went with whatever the factory weight spring was. I just don't remember off the top of my head what it is. But uh, sometimes when you go suppressing semi-autos, you are going to have some issues unless you change the recoil spring. So it seems like we're getting pretty lucky with the dagger that that really isn't a concern. 
put one more mag through it. Up, oh, see, had a problem. Had another problem. Just failed to eject them completely on that. So, yeah, if I'm going to continue suppressing this, it's probably going to be something I'm going to have to look into getting a uh, low power recoil spring to match with the suppressor, but that's not really unexpected. guys well hopefully you learned something or hopefully you at least found me entertaining today uh i will say from first-hand experience this fucking thing works great uh, i would say it probably sounds better in person than what you're going to hear on video because i am just recording this with a phone but uh if you've been on the bandwagon about getting a can now is the perfect time to do it wait times are at an all-time low uh find a local shop near you that has like a silencer uh shop kiosk they can do all your paperwork and your fingerprints and everything in store uh, check it out, guys. Look into it. I'm definitely going to do that. This is fucking awesome. Uh, thanks for coming to the video, guys. Thanks for staying with me to the end if you did. As always, I appreciate you. You guys stay safe. Peace out. I mean, yeah, it was it was actually, I, I, in my opinion, it was actually quieter with the subsonics uh, with the pistol than it was uh, with the supersonics. Than in the what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.